Hi guys, it's Carolyn and today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful dress. If you like the look of this dress, I have a range of videos on my website that show you how to recreate them. What to do is watch the video, and if you like the dress you see in the video, you can then purchase the pattern pieces, which are the paper pieces which act like a stencil that you can cut out on fabric, sew together to recreate the dress. pattern pieces go online to www.carolynbaxter.co.uk You then can follow the step-by-step -step guide on the video to tell you exactly how to make the dress. Now this dress is separated into three categories. We've got the shell which is going to be the outside of the dress. We've got the facing and the lining which is going to make up the inside of the dress. We also have symbols that you can match together to give you a little bit of help on how to piece your pattern together. For this dress you'll need one or two different types of fabric for the shell. Now, as you can see, I've used two. Use some colour tones that work well together when you're choosing your fabric and trimmings. You'll also need a lining as well, which is the same colour as the dress that you're making. And you'll need some interfacing. If it's a dark dress you're making, then use some dark interfacing. If it's a light dress, then use some light interfacing. You also need lots of different types of ribbon as well for the outside detail. Again, keep it to the same colour tones. You'll need an invisible zip. You'll need some thread, the same colour, again, as the dress that you're going to be making. You'll also need some chiffon, which is going to make a nice big long train that's going to come down the back of the dress. And again, choose similar tones. First, you're going to take your fabric, which you're going to be using to make the shell of the dress. Lay out your fabric with the right sides facing each other. Then you're going to get your pattern pieces and you're going to lay them flat. Now you'll be using the shell pattern pieces and the facing ones. Now place out your pattern pieces right next to each other as close as you can so that you don't waste any of the fabric. Carefully cut around both the shell and facing pattern pieces. On all the pattern pieces we need to make sure that the edges aren't going to fray. Now, normally we would use an overlocker for that, but I understand that a lot of you might not have an overlocker, so we're going to be using this interfacing. Cut the interfacing into two centimeter strips. So we're going to take the strip and we're going to be ironing that right along the edge. Now remember, this is the back of the fabric that you're going to be ironing it onto. Do this to all the pattern pieces that you've cut out. Now you've cut out all of your shell pattern pieces, you can place them down in front of you and start sewing them together. Next, lay all your front, top and bottom pattern pieces out now. Piece one, two, three and four. Now you're going to lay them out flat so that you can see the whole front of the dress take shape in front of you. Then we're going to begin sewing. Now, we're going to start off with the front top and sew them together. These are front top pieces one and two. Make sure that both right sides of the fabric are facing each other. That way, when you pin, and sew, it opens up like this. Once sewn, press open this back seam and iron flat. And that's how it will look. Obviously, if you're using all the same fabric on the outside, then it will all be one type of fabric. But I've used two different tones there. Now, the top dress has two pieces like this, the top front. We're going to fold them over so that good sides are facing each other. And we're going to line them up. And on this centre front line, we're just going to do a small stitch right here. Just to sew. So we're going to sew this small section here about up to about three centimeters. This is the center front line you're going to be sewing up. And that's you sewing the two front top sections together just here. Now for the front and bottom of the dress. 
These are our two bottom pieces. These are bottom front. We're going to be sewing them together as well. So we're going to be placing pins right along here and then sewing down this seam. Press the seam flat. Now do the same with the other front bottom pieces three and four. Once you've done that, you want to take both sides of the bottom front and lay them face down on front of each other. You want to then sew them together so that when you open them up, they look like this. And that's the front of the dress done. We're going to do the exact same with the back now. Now lay out the back pieces the way that they should be laid out. Now we're going to be sewing back bottom pieces 7 and 8 together on both sides of the pattern. Once you've taken the pins out, open it up and then we're going to press the seam. You'll do the same with the other side of the back. Now we have both back bottom 7 and 8 pieces. We're going to take them and sew them together right down the centre back line. Again, when you're sewing, make sure the right sides of the fabric are facing each other. And we're going to sew right down here. And now we've got the full back bottom of the dress. Next, we're going to take the bottom front and bottom back and lay them down good sides facing each other. Sew up one side. Open it up. It should look like that. Now we're going to focus on the top back of the dress. Now we have four pieces here and this is the centre back line. We're going to sew these two pieces together, which is one side of the back. Fold over right sides facing each other and sew. Now steam flat with the iron. And there you have it. Do the same at the other side now with these two pieces. Now we've got our two back sides. We're going to sew them together. Flip them over, good sides facing each other, pin it and sew it along the centre back line. Once you've sewn it, now we've got the back and the front sorted. We're going to sew these two pieces together. Now the back is going to be good side face up. And we're going to place the front good side face down. Now this is when you decide what side you'd rather have the zip in. Um, the zip's going to go up one side of the dress and it's going to be an invisible zip. So I'm going to sew only one side of my um, top half together. When you pin them they should look something like this. So now you're going to sew up that seam. Lay flat your pattern pieces now. At this stage it should look like this. Now you can pin to the mannequin so we can start adding our ribbon decorative pieces. Now you've got the bottom shell of your dress and the top shell. We're going to decorate the top shell. We're focusing on this bodice part of the top. I'm going to be taking the ribbon down this front seam here and I'm going to be sewing two stitches to hold the ribbon in place. Pin in place and then sew. Continue to place more ribbon wherever you want it on the bodice. This is where your creative flair comes into place and you just have free reign to make up your own design. With this velvet ribbon, we're going to be pinning the pins across the way. That means that the sewing machine can run right over it. Continue this process sewing as many pieces of ribbon as you want to onto the bodice. As you can see, I've got quite creative and sewn quite a few strips onto my bodice of my dress. You're going to sew the top and the bottom pattern pieces of the dress together. Lay them down flat, good sides facing each other and sew all the way along here. And sew along here. So this is what your dress should be looking like now. It's beginning to take shape. Now we're going to place the dress face up. Then we're going to fold it so that the back of the dress right side is facing the front of the dress right side. Now we're going to sew that up there to the marked pin 
because that's where our invisible zip will be. And this is what we will have now. We've got our full shell of the dress and in the side seam we've only sewn 20 centimetres up. So we still should have this side open. Now it's time to start with the lining. 